Hey, welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, and getting 1% better than yesterday and breaking free from whatever is holding you back, from becoming the best version of yourself, from enjoying the present moment, and from doing what you want to do within reason. And I'm trying to do the same. Sunday is one of my favorite days of the week. Um, I made it through a good, busy week of work. Everything went well. Uh, rare Sunday upload today, trying out some new things. I have a microphone attached to my cell phone. I'm filming horizontally, which I don't often do, so I'm hoping this video will have some better audio quality. I have a tripod set up, so I'm enjoying that. Getting used to um, not looking at the screen, but looking at the camera is kind of funny, but this is the process, this is the journey. Um, taking small steps. Maybe there's other people out there like me who aren't quite as natural of a skill set of filming, but you know, I'm, I'm practicing. Uh, I filmed uh, my workout, my home workout. It's about 15 stations of me just doing stuff around the house. Uh, cardio, dumbbell workouts, uh, working on this rebounder trampoline that I have that has been a godsend for the neuropathy in my feet. It allows me to do cardio at the house, counter push-ups, dips on the stairs, two of which I forgot to film because I am not Steven Spielberg yet. But no matter what, I'm going to put that video out. Um, I'm proud of myself for filming it. Well, first for doing it, second for filming it, third for putting it into a video editing software. I did trim it up a little bit, stuck some scenes together. I'm going to put this intro first. I have so much to learn, but it's exciting for me. I enjoy the process. I'm not striving for perfection. I'm going to start and I'm going to learn on the way. So that's what's going to come out today. And I want to practice different shots, maybe each day, maybe each week, and just incorporate some cool shots into the vlog also and incorporate that into the talks. But I didn't want this to go intro to go without a talk and I wanted to quickly have this lead into the workout which I'm doing and it's something my wife sent to me about maybe a change of life and it's called I didn't disappear and oftentimes I feel like I've disappeared from my last life and and some friends or you know friends that used to be without in the bars but it says I didn't disappear I traded nights out for knowledge seeking, and that is certainly true. Knowledge seeking about life, love, happiness, finance, health, freedom, all things that uh, I've traded for nights out. I've traded parties for intimate gatherings. When I gather now, it's with close friends and family, and not just random parties with a bunch of people that I don't know. Uh, I traded chasing money for chasing purpose. Without purpose and without passion for that purpose, my days and my life were not as full. They were bordering on E. And I was looking for that, and I found it in freedom. I found it in self-improvement. I found it in the daily practice of getting 1% better. I didn't disappear. I traded meaningless work for my passion. Um, my passion is waiting tables. I'm lucky enough to say that. Um, it took me a while to figure that out. If I can just do my job, I'm very passionate about it and helping people and I like the camaraderie. I also like Instacart shopping and gig work and side hustles. That is also my passion and I'm combining the two right now and it's nice to have one or the other if anything were to ever happen. I didn't disappear. I traded being busy for protecting my time. Being busy not just for busyness sake, not just for extra money, not just for productivity or for being so busy where you dull your senses and you're not in touch with the moment or your true self. I'm protecting my time, our greatest non-renewable resource. I want freedom time to have in my life. I didn't disappear. I traded soul extortion for soul searching. To find the meaning for myself in this life and to help and inspire others. And I 
traded living for others for living my life and trying to become the best version of myself, which I'm doing, which I'm documenting on this vlog, which I hope to be an example for my friends and family and for anyone else who might happen to stumble upon this vlog. And every day I'm going to get a little bit better. I'm going to get better at these workouts that you're going to see. I haven't done this um, in a long time, so I'm a little little rough. I'm fighting through body pain and and whatever else, but I'm out there doing it. I'm the man in the arena, right? And like Teddy Roosevelt said, and I'm just doing what I got to do and living my life. And I'm enjoying, trying to enjoy every moment of every day. Not just every day, but every moment of every day. That's the goal. And that's not always possible, but we strive for the goal. And our reach might exceed our grasp, but we'll still get pretty far. So I hope you're having a great Sunday fun day. Let me know how you're doing. I'll definitely be coming out with a video tomorrow and I look forward to talking to you soon. Break free. Hey, welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day. I'm ready to get after it with this JB at home workout. There's 15 stations, if you want to call it that, that I do. The first is a floor dumbbell pullover. I haven't done this routine in a while. Let's see how it goes. Fifteen pound dumbbell. Okay, all right, so dumbbell pullover, a success. After every one minute of cardio. All right, first part down. Second thing I'm gonna do is a bent dumbbell row right over here and I use this table as kind of the bench. Getting tired. And the other.
All right, next, probably my least favorite thing to do, squats. Bad knees, so I kind of got to watch out a little bit. I'm just kind of easing in. Five more. Fifteen to start. Cardio. Love this thing. Keep my core tight. Okay, so now we're down on the floor. Back on the floor again, we're gonna do some chest presses with the dumbbells. Dumbbell fly and some leg raises. That's also good for the lower back. And then after these three, we'll get back on the rebounder and do some more cardio. Chest press. Fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty. So now that I'm down here, I'm going to add a quick little stretch in. Cross your right foot over to your left thigh. Arms between and pull it back. Just feel it. Feels awesome. In the lower right hip. Like 10 seconds, do the other side. Oh, feels good. I'll switch sides. All right, good stretch. Ready for dumbbell flies. Which is out to the side.
do some cardio. All right, back up off the ground, heading over to do some cardio on the rebounder. This thing has been a godsend for my feet. It's allowed me to do cardio in the house so much easier. I would highly recommend one. I'm going to do three rounds of these because I did three things on the floor without getting up. It's not an insanity workout, but it's, it's challenging, especially when you haven't done it for a while. One more. Okay. Okay, back on the ground. It's been a while since I've done this workout. So now this is a jackknife, kind of like a sit up. If I can remember well, I think I hate this, but let's see how it goes. Oh. 
Jackknife, not fun, but it's done for the day. <sighs> More cardio. So now I'm going to do uh, bicep curls and then reverse bicep curls. There's 10. Jack and I hurt my neck a little bit. My neck's always a little sore, especially when I'm lifting. The, the tenseness always makes my neck sore. And then it makes me not want to lift, which then makes me be sedentary, which then makes me eat poorly. It's a vicious cycle of pain inactivity and then coping, filling that void with cake. And so I'm gonna to try to push through, I'm gonna to try to do the best that I can. But for right now, I just gotta start small. <clears throat> There's a lot, of, a lot of pain in my body to avoid, to endure. Left shoulder is one of them. <sighs> Reverse. So ideally I would do, I don't know, 20 to 30 of those, sets of 10 perhaps, and one day 20s, but just easing in, I don't want to get too sore. I'll do two rounds on the rebounder here. All right, water break time. Oh man. Ah. 
So now coming over to do some stairway dips. Stairway dips. All right, I'm fading fast. I got two more workouts to do. Seated calf raise with dumbbells on my legs and then a shoulder press. Um, let's get it done. All right, starting slow. Not being a hero today. JB Breaks Free is not about heroics. It's about being free. And I'll learn to look at the lens too when I talk. It's all a process. And then I just got two more rounds of cardio and this workout is over. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Take some action today and break free from sedentary lifestyle and get moving no matter how Little it is, just get started. Talk to you later.